What's going on guys? We're gonna take you through a post ACL surgery workout with our guy, Steve Domingo. Uh, he played at Cal, overseas player, um, and we're about three and a half weeks into our on-court work. Uh, he's about two and a half, three months post-op. And I want you guys to focus on these little things, the, the details that we work on throughout the course of the, his progress. Now, one thing that I want you to hold on to, we have 150 shot quota every day. We do not go over, we do not go under. So that way we can make sure that he's not putting too much stress on that ACL. Okay, watch that synopsis at the end of this workout to show you guys all the little details and have a little intro with him to tell you guys what his road to recovery has been like.
good face.
one. One, two, two. Shot take first, hit peak. Get in there, bro! Recovery and rehab is super important that you do it the right way. Uh, we also want to make sure that we incorporate as much basketball stuff while not aggravating that ACL in, within due time and in the right process. So I want Steve to kind of go through where he's at in his rehab process after his ACL surgery. And that way you guys can have a better understanding of how to gauge your rehab process. Um, I'm about three and a half months uh, post-surgery. Um, I've been with Jordan now three weeks after my surgery and um, we've increasingly gone from just static mid-range shots to then adding some movement, going backwards, going forwards, um, all based on what my physical therapists at Modus are telling me to do. Um, so basically Jordan is working in collaboration with them to give me the best possible um, recovery in terms of doing things that are going to push me but then also keeping my knee strong and safe yeah um, he's done a really good job and they've done a really good job and i'm feeling strong um, i know i have a long way to go probably about four or five more months but um, i definitely am feeling good and uh, he's helping me out a lot and that's something that's really important make sure when you guys are on your rehab uh, rehab kind of route make sure your physical therapist is having a dialogue with your trainer. Mm -hmm. You do not want to have your basketball trainer or you going out and doing the workout and you're doing all these lateral cuts or angled mm -hmm. cuts. Steve and I have been working now for three weeks, uh, which was probably three months after the right. surgery. About like two or two About months and three weeks. Two, two, and a, two and a half, a little over two and a half months mm -hmm. post-surgery, we started working. We've now been working for three weeks and we're still only doing progressive actions. Like that's as far as we've, we, uh, we're allowed to go so that we don't re-injure or re-aggravate that ACL. But if you watched this video, you saw how balanced he was and how controlled he was. We're not putting stress on those tendons by allowing his knees to go forward. We're making sure that when he finishes shot, his knees are falling back but behind his toes so that way he puts the brunt of that stress on his butt and those other thighs and, 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 and hips. So not putting that stress on his knees. We also make sure that when he lands, he has that 50-50 weight distribution. After you get done with your ACL surgery or you tear it, you're gonna to wanna to favor the opposite leg. Mm -hmm. And it's really important in this rehab process that you keep that even weight distribution so that way you don't put too much stress on the healthy knee or the healthy tendons. So make sure you focus on that. I know this video can help a ton of people. Steve, thank you so much for allowing us to film it. Uh, Steve is a phenomenal shooter. Make sure you follow his journey, follow our rehab process for Steve as he goes to get back to his professional playing career.